awesome reckless ravine. Keep your focus and don't fall off. You can never know what will happen next. This is the first chance to prove themselves, but who'll be tough enough to take the lead? The island is a devious place. I get the idea the island's going to do some pretty hard stuff to us, and I'm ready for it. This is Scorpion Island. Scorpion Island, the island with a sting in its tail. I'm Mylene. And I'm Johnny. You join us as ten daring adventurers face the quest of a lifetime as they take on this mysterious island in a bid to escape. However, between them and freedom are a series of jaw-dropping, heart-pounding, life-changing challenges that must be conquered. Oh, yes. Scorpion Island is bigger and badder than ever before. The island has decided to reveal to the adventurers a huge secret. Five stone scorpions. Legend has it, centuries ago, five ancient adventurers tried to conquer Scorpion Island. These adventurers each possessed an individual quality, a power needed to escape the island. Bravery. Strength. Speed. Balance. And stamina. But the island was livid that these uninvited guests had challenged it and mischievously turned them into stone so they could never, ever escape. The island has offered our ten new intrepid adventurers the chance to represent one of these powers. So will the adventurers do the powers justice and escape, or will they too fail and risk being turned to stone? Only time will tell. It's going to get very interesting. There's so much at stake. The guys are the stars of their own legend. Let's see their story so far. Ten brave adventurers left their friends and families behind them on a mighty quest to take on the devious Scorpion Island. Their first challenge, to jump from a plane above the clouds, thousands of meters high. Over five heart-stopping minutes, they fell towards Scorpion Island, facing their fears and up for the challenge. Popular Maddie. Oh, that was awesome. That was one of the best things I've ever done in my life. Oh, it was so fun. Competitive Abby. What can I say? Just absolutely phenomenal. You can't describe it with words. Smart thinker Janarden. It was amazing. And once that parachute hit, it's just like, whoa. Friendly Rachel. I've jumped good over the bus. I'm sad I can't do it again. I just want to go back up. Determined Shire. 11 out of 10. It's not really scary unless you're, like, scared of heights or anything, but it's amazing, really. Fearless Angus. I'm ready for the island to put whatever challenges I have to face against me. Cheeky Harriet. So lost for words. I just have a massive smile that I can't get off my face. Born leader Bronte. I know I'm meant to be brave and all, but this is scary. Sporty Michael. Still so fun, I can't stop grinning. And fun-loving Brandon. The best experience of my life. I just can't believe it. It just happened. Once within the island's dense jungles, they learnt about the five ancient powers that took on the island many years ago, but had been turned to stone. It was up to the ten adventurers to each win and represent a power in a bid to beat the island and escape. They took each other on in a battle for their powers. The power of speed was awarded to Shire and Bronte. Bravery was awarded to Maddie and Abby. The strongest adventurers were Michael and Harriet. Janarden and Brandon were awarded the power of balance. With four powers won and one yet to be awarded, they all gathered at the island fire. The place where the island communicates its devious plans. Well, we can now reveal that the island is deemed, you will indeed, be split into two teams. The legendary team Sting and Team Claw. Now the first battle for powers was bravery. So could Abby 
and Maddie, please step forward. She wants to come here, guys. Now, uh, how does it feel knowing that you two are going to be competing against each other now? I'm nervous and I don't know. Maddie, do you think you're going to be braver than Abby? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of competition, I see those eyes. <laughs> Right, the next battle for the powers was speed. So, Shia Bronte, step forward. Now, you guys were absolutely brilliant. How does it feel, though, to be competing against each other? I don't want to, because we've been really good friends, and we wanted to be on the same team, because we've got a similar kind of strengths, and we could work well together, and now we're on a different team. You're <laughs> devastated, aren't you? Yeah. The you. friendship has Ooh. been split apart. <laughs> Shia, what about you? How are you feeling? Oh, I'm really upset, because we make a good team but now we're spinning up it's like devastating because i'm like oh no not fair <laughs> <laughs> that's the island you never know what it's gonna do okay the next battle for the powers was strength could harriet and michael please step forward harriet you completely obliterated everyone else on the strength challenge are, are you confident do you think you're gonna obliterate michael i don't know it's <laughs> sort of half sort of <laughs> okay how are you feeling, Michael? Confident. Yeah? Uh, yes, yeah. OK, the next battle for the powers was balance. Brandon won balance, and Janardin too. The whole time I was there, I didn't want to look down, so I had my eyes closed. Now, only two of you remain, Angus and Rachel. But you guys haven't got a power. So what's going to happen? Don't know. <laughs> I'm clueless. We're going to find out next time. Cliffhanger at the island fire. The Stevious Island left Paul, Rachel and Angus stewing for pretty much all of the night. Rachel, how was it for you? It was terrible. <laughs> I didn't know what team I was in. I didn't know if I had a power or anything. It was just strange because everyone else had no what they, I was no knew, they knew what was going on. I didn't have a clue, so. So you felt like you didn't have a little position or a place? Yeah, I was just Rachel. <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> what about you, Angus? The same as Rachel, but I kept I keep coming up with ideas of what might happen and bits and pieces, but it ends out right now that's not the case, so I'm still clueless. Shall I put you out of your misery? Yes, please. Okay, then. Well, as you know, there are four adventurers representing four of the powers in each team. However, Angus and Rachel, you don't have either a power or a team yet. I can tell you, though, that the island recognises extreme courage and... Well, determination, you guys competed in every single battle for the powers. And in so doing, you've more than earned the right to represent stamina. Congratulations. So, Thank one for you. you, Angus. Rachel, congratulations. Give them a round Thank of applause, you. guys. Well done, guys. Not only that, the islands decided that you'll also become the inaugural team captains of each of the teams, leading your teams into the first island challenge. No pressure. <laughs> yeah, no pressure. That helps. But of which team, I hear you ask? OK, so in this bag are two stones. One is red, representing Team Sting. The other, yellow, representing Team Claw. I think you guys know the drill by now, so I'm going to ask you to put your hand in the bag. No peeking. <laughs> and hold on to a stone. Hold on tight. Don't show anybody. No peeking. Hold on tight. I'm going to ask you to hold your hands out. Angus. Rachel. Please reveal your team colour. So, Angus, you're the team captain for Sting. Rachel, you're the team captain for Claw. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Stamina Power Captains, this is the magical dial of destiny. Do you like the look of it? Pretty. It's about to define your destiny. In that case, it's scary. <laughs> now, what we're going to do is we're going to give it a spin, and wherever the Sting lands, if it lands on red, it will represent Team Sting, yellow, Team Claw. So, whichever colour it lands on, that team captain will get the chance to choose a team to lead. OK. Oh. Now, now, it's tense. a very difficult decision to make. It's a huge decision to make. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. 
Who will get to choose their team? Angus or Rachel? It's all resting on the dial of destiny. Angus, it's landed on red. Make the decision. Yeah, but what you say that does pressure me. Oh, the pressure. No pressure. Okay. Can you guys convince them which team would be the best? Okay. Uh, Angus, I'm gonna have to push you for an answer. I think I might have this team. Yeah. Yeah. This is your team, Angus. This is now Team Sting. Congratulations. Yes. Hello, Team okay. Sting. Rachel, you're the captain for Team Claw. This is your team. How do you feel about that? Great. Oh, you're happy? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> of course I'm happy. How can I not be? Power captains, you now represent stamina. It's time to get ready for your first island challenge. And I can tell you, it's one versus one. Well, we now have two incredibly strong teams, Sting versus Claw. And I've got a feeling this is going to be epic. So, in just a moment, Team Sting will take on Team Claw in the very first island challenge. Let's meet Team Claw. Harriet. On Scorpion Island, I want to get rid of my fear of heights and just knock it out. I go to circus classes at home, so I'm very flexible. Some people get quite aggressive and some people get sort of quiet. I think I'm one of the probably quiet people. Abby. I just always try my best. If I'm ever picked for a challenge, I'll never panic and I will not show that I'm scared. I'll just do it. If I'm responsible for a team failure, I will just say that it's my fault, it's that I've done it. There's, not, there's no problem with that because it's not your fault, so I will take the blame because it was my fault very, very 10 out of 10 because I'm not really scared of any challenges that will that, that they will show to me. I will just do it, showing the challenge no mercy and showing how good I am. Rachel. If things go completely wrong on Scorpion Island, I think I'll react by trying to calm things down and make people laugh and try and joke on and just make things a bit more cheerful. At the moment, I give myself probably about a 6 out of 10 for stamina, but I've been trying to improve that, so I hope I'll be a bit higher, maybe an 8, but I'm not too sure at the moment, so we'll have to see. Brandon. The things that I think are going to scare me the most are um, being my new lifestyle on camp. Apart from the group of callies, it's my new surroundings of the new people and being away from my home in Essex. The people that I think I'll get along with is nice and loud people and people that are easy to get along with and make new friends with. The thing I find interesting about myself is that I like to do drama and dance and I do singing as well and I love to dance around other people and make them laugh. For balance, I'll mark myself 5 out of 10 as I'm quite good at balancing but sometimes I get a bit wobbly. And Shia. If I'm chosen for a ch challenge and I have to be put under pressure, I'll just think, I just won't think about it. I'll just completely blank it out and think that I have to do it for the team and I have to do it for myself to be able to win. Not a lot of things scare me. Speed, I give myself a 9 or a 10. I like to win. I, I know losing is, you have somebody has to lose, but I don't like being the one that loses. That's Team Claw and we'll get to know Team Sting soon. Scorpion Island has decided to pile on the pressure and for the first time ever will force the power captains to battle it out one versus one. Power captains Angus and Rachel must face each other head on in the first round of the island challenge. The success or failure of Sting and Claw rest upon their shoulders. I'm not sure at first I'll cope under pressure as well as other people might. I'll probably be a bit jittery and I'll be pa or panic quite a bit. I'll probably cope by um, explaining why it is that I failed and just trying to not let people down anymore. This is Stamina. This is Reckless Ravine. The power captains are going head to head to race across the terrifyingly deep gorge with just the hoops and the monkey bars for balance. 
They then have to collect scorpion dice one at a time from the center platform and throw them into the score next below. Dice thrown into the nets nearest the center earn one point. Dice thrown into the next nets earn three points. But adventurers hungry for big scores will throw to the nets closest to the edge of the ravine because they earn five points. And, of course, whoever scores the most wins. Each adventurer has eight dice to throw, which means they're going to have to do a lot of crossing back and forth across the gorge. This is going to be an immense test of stamina. Time for the power captains to really show their metal. This is a challenge like no other. Not only is it one versus one, it's also power captain versus power captain. So this is competition at its rawest. Now I can reveal that the winner of this first round will secure a 10 second time advantage for their teammates to take into the second round. What do you think, Rachel? Does that add a bit of pressure or does that inspire you to do really well? That's just pressure. That's just pressure. <laughs> oh, I don't want to let people down now. So that, that, no, actually that's, yeah, that's made me more determined. What's going to be the hard bit for you? Throwing balls. I can't throw anything to save my life. Okay, Angus, do you feel any pressure? I don't think I have as much pressure as she has because I think I have done more things to uh, get myself ready for this type of challenge. Okay, so you're good with balance? I'm kind of good with balance. Okay, and what about your stamina? You are the stamina power captains, but how do you think you're going to hold out here? I honestly have no idea. Okay, well, I'm just going to remind you that the winner of this round will secure a 10 second time advantage for their team. Let's get it on! Right, it's time to face Reckless Ravine. Stamina Power Captains Claw and Sting, Rachel and Angus. Are you ready? Ready! Ready! Three, two, one, go! Go, Angus! Go, Angus! Go, Rachel! Come on! And they're off, and both teams really want their Power Captain to win this first Stamina Challenge. Rachel's at the first platform, and so is Angus. He looks more solid than the cable, but with nothing to hold on to at the sides, it demands a confident leap forward. Angus, you can do it! Yes, Rachel! Come on, Rachel! Come on, Angus! Come on! Build up! Get up in faster! Rachel, pick up! Well, Rachel's already made it to the central platform, but Angus is hot on her trail. Okay, she's going for her first throw. Just missed. Bad news for Rachel. She threw the first die, but her aim was off. She said she wasn't good with ball games, but will that be a downfall here? Now Angus has gone for it. And it's in. Angus got off to a less confident start than Rachel up on the cable, but he's pulled it back to get the first point. Well done, Angus. One point to Angus. Good, solid start. Well, Rachel needs to start making better luck for herself. Oh, and another miss. She's throwing quickly, but nothing's going in. Maybe she should take a leaf out of Angus's book and spend more time aiming. Oh! A near miss again. It just clipped the edge of the net there for Rachel. Take your time! Oh no, Angus has missed. And look at how far those dice fall. Concentrating when you're that high up is a nightmare. But it's got to be done. Like you did before! Looks like more careful aiming from Rachel this time. She got it! She got it! So Rachel's on the scoreboard and she's in the lead. She got a die into the three-point net. Now this challenge could go either way. Turn it again! Don't try! We're winning! Yeah. You're not the draw it. Remember, Angus and Rachel are playing for an all-important time advantage for their team in round two. Angus went for the higher points and just missed. It's a longer throw, it's a lot trickier. <laughs> But Rachel's beginning to make this look easy. That's another three points for Claw. Great stuff. Good. 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 
Angus really needs to get focused and fast because that's another amazing throw from Rachel. Three more points for Claw. Oh, and right on the edge of the net again for Angus. He's going to have to start trying for the big points now if he wants to stand any chance of winning. You have to remember, the longer that the challenge goes on, the more stamina you need, they're getting tired, and they're getting desperate for points. Come on, Angus! You can do it, Angus! Oh, no! That is just what Angus didn't need. While collecting his next die, he dislodged one of the others, sending it plummeting down. That's a potential five points he won't be able to score now, and that means the pressure is really on. Whoa, Rachel, great shot. That's right, Mylene, another great shot for Rachel. She got her eye in for the throw to a three-point net, and she has just kept them coming. So, at last, Angus is changing tactics. After missing so many throws, it looks like he's making his way out towards the five-point net. You can still win! Rachel, go, for go for the outside ones! Outside one now! Yeah, go for the outside ones! You can still win! Angus, what? Go, 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 go. The disappointment in Sting's voices says it all. It was smart thinking from Angus to go for the five-point net, but it would have been even smarter to take his time before throwing and make sure his aim was true. Take your time now, Rachel. Rachel, slowly. I can see how hard slowly. that would be. Yeah. Go for the outside one, yeah? Well, go for the outside one. You're doing really well. Keep your balance. And now Rachel's changing tactics too and heading out for a five-point net. But this is her very last die, so she's only going to have one shot at it. You can my time. Try the end you one. Can do it. You can do it. Take your time, Rachel. Oh. Yes! <laughs> Whoa, Rachel, great shot. That's five points. Extraordinary stuff from Rachel here. The sheer level of concentration across this challenge must really be taking it out of her, even before she's crossed back over the ravine. But such is her stamina prowess that it doesn't look like it's affecting her one little bit. Money in the bank, bank, bank. Well, it's too early to glow. Angus has got one more die and he's going for the five point net. Can he make his last throw count? Unfortunately, I my, kind of let down my team, but it was fun doing it anyway. It went well. Tell you though. And it really did go well for Rachel. She looked more comfortable than Angus crossing the gorge while he got his first die in. It seemed for a while as though she was hurrying her way to failure as die after die missed the net. Finally, she found a form, not just getting a die into the three-point net, but following it up with an amazing three more. Angus's fortunes went from bad to worse, as he not only lost his aim, but also one of his dice. He was a worthy stamina power captain, pushing on through the tiredness and the disappointment, but he couldn't compete with Rachel, who equaled his endurance levels, and, despite her earlier lack of confidence... I'm not very good at throwing balls, I don't have very good aim, so... I'm not too good at that. Added some real flair, too. Well, that was pretty daring. Did you enjoy yourselves? Yes. Good. I thought it was fantastic. Good. One of you got 17 points, and one of you got a very proud one point. The winner of the time advantage for their teammates is... Rachel Team Claw. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, before you got up there, you were so worried about your throwing skills, yeah. and that's what saved you. So what kind of advice would you give to your teammates? Know your strengths and know your weaknesses, because my strength is climbing and my weakness is throwing, so I spent my time throwing, so make sure I got an accurate throw. But the climbing, I knew I could do faster, because I'm better with that. Angus, what a good game. What a good game. Yes, and I think... Rachel played really well. Angus, what advice would you give to your teammates who are about to play? Don't do the uh, tactics that I use. Oh. Uh, <laughs> try and not exactly rush it, no matter if the team's ahead or behind. 
So even though you're against the clock, your advice is take your time. Take your mm. time. Okay. So Rachel, tell me which teammates have you decided to send up there? I've decided to send up Abby and Shia. Okay. Can you tell me why? Well, I chose Shia because I think she's good at sport, but I had a little bit of trouble deciding between her and Harriet. And I chose Abby because he hasn't had any goals apart from doing the skydive. So and I'm he is skydive. desperate to do another challenge. Exactly. Even I know that. He deserves it, definitely. Excellent, excellent. Angus, yeah. tell me, who are the teammates that you're going to send up? I think Janardin and Maddie. So why have you chosen Janardin and Maddie? Well, I saw just before they took off for the skydive that they were looking pretty confident. Okay. Yeah, just before they jumped, so they'll be good with this type of height. Do you think that the 10 second penalty is going to be a problem for you? It's not going to be any problem. Okay. Well, I think it's time we went over to your teammates and had a listen to what they think of your performance. Go, Rachel! In the game, Rachel and Angus are both doing really well, but I mean, Angus, should, even though he's on my team, I think he should take some slightly bigger steps. He held up a little bit, but that's this is just the beginning, so there's plenty of time. Is she going to get in? Do they have to drop it in? Oh, oh, she missed! Never mind, Rachel! Don't worry! She was in front, and then she got it, and she, she, she just, it. like, missed her aim. She, like, dropped it and didn't aim properly. <gasps> yeah! Rachel was doing quite right. slowly and Angus had one, but then she got one in and she got two in and now she's got three Come in on, and we got one. And you can do it, Angus! Get into it because oh, it's just no. missed another one. Oh. Yes! 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 We can just... It's the next round. We can try well, again. Rachel! You can never know what will happen next. Next time, the teams face a strenuous totem trial. Sting and Claw head into the jungle to visit their base camps. And while Abby shows confidence, Shia looks petrified in the island challenge. My balance isn't that good at all. My feet are big and I keep slipping. You can catch all the action online now. You're not going to want to miss a single moment, so be sure to join us next time as we try to escape from Scorpion Island. See Bye. ya.